What's up everyone? It's uh, DSP here uh, and I'm going to do something a little different today. A little bit out of the box. I know that usually what I do is just regular game playthroughs. Every here and there I do maybe a review. But what I'd like to do it today is because there's no real new games out right now. It's some downtime during this year. Uh, which I kind of expected after the first quarter. Uh, what I want to do is talk about something that a lot of people have asked me about uh, on, online. Uh, a lot of people ask me, Phil, you know, we see you play all kinds of games. Shooters, fighting games, adventure games, role-playing games, uh, action games. But what about sports games? We've never seen you tackle a sports game, really. And uh, we wonder, did you even play them? Well, the answer is yes. Uh, I do play sports games. I have played them in the past. Um, you know, when, you know, back in the 90s when sports games were very popular, there were a lot of games that I played. I believe the NFL 2K, which I believe it was the first one that was on the Dreamcast. I played the hell out of that game. I loved it. I did play the Madden series, which obviously is very popular today. Uh, and so, yeah, the answer is yes, I do play sports games, but these days I really don't play them that much because I find that these newer iterations of the games are just a lot of repetition and a lot of the same stuff over and over. To, you know, not a lot of improvements from year to year when the new games come out. However, there is a game that it was a pioneer when it came out. I mean, it's pretty much considered the best basketball game of all time, hands down. You're going to be very hard-pressed to find anyone who would dispute that fact with you. Uh, and basically, the game, when it came out, it blew everything else away. Everyone was playing it. Everyone was talking about it. It was amazingly popular. I mean, if you went to school, you went to work, it was just it was the most popular thing at the time. Uh, it featured... You know, real NBA players, uh, the graphics were great, it was just, it was the coolest thing, a lot of cool things. And so, obviously, if you're in the know, you know what game I'm talking about. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of talking about the game Scotty Pippen Slam City uh, for the Sega 32X and Sega CD. It actually came out first for the Sega CD, then for the 32X. Uh, now, first of all, just looking at this box art, how could you not know the epicness that's contained within? I mean, you've got three... Obvious paid actors who've never played basketball before in their entire lives giving their craziest looking faces all next to each other, which is kind of weird because it looks like they've been cut out like a, one of those ransom letters where they cut all the letters and they tape the uh, or glue the letters onto the letter. That's kind of like what this box art kind of looks like. Here's a picture of the man, Scottie Pippen, who, yes, he actually is in the game. Uh, so that was, you know. As you know, any game that has some kind of an endorsement or, or interaction with a real uh, sports player, it can't be bad. It has to be great. I mean, we know there's never been a shitty game with sponsorship from a sports player before. So this game, as you know, before you even start, is going to be gold. Um, the, just the design of it, I mean, you have these crazy looking orange and red fire kind of colors on the side. And obviously when you see that, you know that they're just going to be exploding with fun once you open the box. Um, Right here, this is pretty cool. Now, what I want to say, mention here is this is not the regular version. They first came out on the Sega CD, and then it was released later on for the Sega 32X. So what this is the special edition where you can play it on the Sega CD and 32X. And what it tells you right here, and I'm not sure if you can read this, but basically it says it's digitally remastered for the 32X, 25% sharper video, and eight times more colors. How can you fucking go wrong with eight times more colors? I mean, that's a selling point right there. You have to buy this game if it has eight times more colors than any other game. Um, and then also, over two and a half hours of full motion video, how can you go wrong with that? As you know, today, almost every game has full motion video. I mean, every game that you play has these movie clips in them of real actors acting out and dancing around. Well, it all started with this game. This was one of the first games to pioneer that. Um, and, you know, really, this game kind of really pioneered the whole interactive movie kind of a deal. Um, so anyway... Before we even jump in, let's take a look at the back of the box here. Because uh, we obviously the front was so good, we don't want to miss the back. Uh, we have four uh, pictures here uh, of that are supposed to be of gameplay footage. But of course you can tell the first three might actually be in-game screenshots. While the fourth is simply a production still from when they were actually taking pictures on the set. Uh, what you see here is that the screen is not actually completely full of the video. The video actually is kind of crunched into a box in the center of the screen and that's for effect and we'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, there might be some interaction but anyway what it's really telling you is that there's four basketball players that you can tackle when you play this game starting with this guy named Fingers, I guess that's because he does the finger roll on the when he's on the court or something. Juice which is really kind of an odd name. Mad Dog and smash and then of course the last guy who's the final boss of the game scotty pippen don't think that you could just be jumping to the end of the game and playing scotty pippen right off the bat you have to defeat the other four guys first you can't just rush to the final boss before you get there and earn your way buddy so anyway 
as you can see, one player, because we all know that the best games out there today are one player. You know, you don't need any distraction having some friend over trying to fucking, you know, jump in or try to press start and try to get the fuck out of my game, man. Let me concentrate on my game and get good at it. Get the fuck out of my house when I'm playing video games. So anyway, yeah, fucking social interaction. Who needs it? The cool thing is I'm actually recording this on my camcorder. And what that means is we can just live here, grab this guy, and we can jump over and actually take a look at the inside of the game. Let me just do a little bit of arranging here. Hold on. Get the strap on my hand. And here we go. So this is the game, Slam City. And uh, as you can see, that was the box art. Now what we want to do is open it up and see what's inside. Well, first of all, the instruction book immediately falls over, blocking the entire game. And that was by design, because what they really wanted you to do was have a slow reveal when you opened the box. They didn't want you to just rush straight into that amazing, epic content. They wanted it to just be drawn out slowly. They didn't want you to have a heart attack as soon as you opened the box, because so much greatness was in your face at once. So here's the instruction booklet, and as you can see, identical to actually the cover of the game. They didn't want to go uh, you know, too much further. They didn't want to offer you too much right at the beginning of the game. And uh, as you see, the inside, completely black and white, devoid of color and life. But everyone knows no one reads the fucking instruction book anyway, so we'll just throw that aside. Now the cool thing about this game is that it's actually on four CDs, as you'll see. Let me spread them out here. One, two... And I apologize, this does look a little bit blurry right now because my camera's not focusing. But that's okay, here we go. So we have four CDs, okay? And each CD constitutes a different player in the game. Like we said, there were four characters, well each one is a different character. Now some people might say, man, a game with four CDs, that's a pain in the ass because then you have to constantly be swapping between the CDs in order to play the game. It would be nice if they could have fit it all on one CD. Well the truth is, those people don't know anything about anything. They're fucking morons because what this really means is that there's four times the content of any other game at the time. I mean, would you rather buy a game that's only one CD? Why would you do that when you can get a game that's on four CDs? That's like literally four times the gaming. So obviously, this was an amazing game at the time. It was just the hands down choice for the game that you would get if you wanted to play a basketball game. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, let's get these together and let's uh, run into the room. And you might be wondering what I mean when I say run into the room. You're like, well, Phil, you usually play your games in your living room on your big TV. Well, the truth is that this kind of a game was designed to be played on a standard definition TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this sucker and we're going to walk over into my other room here where I have an old classic style TV set up here. As you can see, it is a classic style TV, a CRT. It is not a HD television by any means, but that's, you know, like I said, on purpose. It's a Toshiba, uh, and what we've got hooked up to this Toshiba down here is we've got, oh yeah, see, now you know what we're talking about. You've got the Sega, uh, Sega Genesis hooked into the Sega CD with the mushroom top Sega 32X plugged into the top. And, you know, a lot of people have talked about this system before in videos. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but let me just say something. I don't know if you saw the Angry Video Game Nerds video of the, uh, the Sega CD and the 32X attachments. One of the major things he complained about right here is that, as you can see, this system does require a separate power block for each part of the system. That's right, each one of them actually needs a separate uh, power adapter. And he complained, he said, man, how am I supposed to plug this thing in? Well, take a look. Anyone, obviously, who has a brain buys one of these really good power strips and they don't complain because the reason it needs three power blocks is because this fucking system was like three times more powerful than anything else on the market, man. You can't just expect that it's going to work without three power blocks. That's a good thing when you know that it has, it's sucking all of the energy out of your wall and jacking up your fucking electric bill. That's, that means that you're really getting the full quality and power out of your gaming system. So... What we're going to do here is I'm going to pop in the game and we're going to start and we're going to uh, delve into the best basketball game of all time, Slam City, starring Scottie Pippen. <laughs> 